Yeah, I know. But how did it? How did it feel like the first book when you saw it was kind of bound and done and out on shelves? I cried. I went out the litter box and I bluffed my way back inside. <laughs> and then I, I, I painted the silver and then I took it to the bookshelf and I pushed Patricia Cornwall out of the way and I whammed it smack in the middle of my bookshelf and sat on the sofa and looked at her and cried some more. And each one, I know, it just feels the same. Um, I still pinch myself that I've actually got novels and they're proper real ones. You know, but, and that people actually read them other than my family. <laughs> 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 but producing one a year, that's quite high productivity, so, but, I mean, how do you balance that? Cause that's a lot to do. Yeah, but it's, it's one of those things, you know, small bites of the elephant. Um, I aim to write a thousand words a day. That doesn't always happen. Some days I only write, like, three words. <laughs> Other days, if I'm having a good day, I can write 3,000. So, um, and once my children start school, that afforded me the time. And also, you know, having contracts, I treated it as a job. Okay, this is what I do, you have to be professional about this. So, I sit my butt down, and did you know that if you actually sit your bum down at the computer, you can write words, and they will come, and the words will flow if you actually physically sit down and, and do it. So there's nothing mm. glamorous about writing, it's a very solitary <coughs> thing. Um, sometimes it's just a case of, even if you're not in the mood, just <coughs> going through the business and the words will come. Other times, you know, when you do have these flashes of inspiration, the words spew out onto the page, it's lovely and euphoric. But most of the time it's just hard ground. Yeah, yeah these euphoric times, do you actually picture mm. what's happening mm. around you? I'm a, you, I'm a visual writer, yeah, okay. so I just think that I see. And moments of inspiration come at the weirdest times.
I really enjoy writing the Sam Shepard novels. I think she's a great character. I'm enjoying doing things with her, with her and I'm having fun with it. But for heaven's sake, people, if it gets to the point where I'm seeming to come across a bit jaded and bored with it, tell me. <laughs> you know, I don't, want, I don't want to be one of these authors who just keeps carrying it on for the sake of carrying it on. Um, so I think you know, the, 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 the writer's passion about it. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 